I've added a ton of accessories to this 2018 Honda Goldwing. Now, some of them I absolutely love. Some of them are okay, and some of them I'm really not too crazy about. And I'm going to tell you which ones are the ones to get and which ones are the ones to stay away from, and that's coming up right now. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man. This is Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to talk Honda Goldwing accessories for the 2018 model. Now, if you love motorcycling and you really love the Honda Goldwing, uh, now's a good time to click that little subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click the bell icon so that uh, YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. So I'm going to talk about some of the things that I've added to this 2018 Goldwing. Now, I did a video like this about a year ago, maybe not quite a year ago, and I talked about all the accessories I had added up to that point, and I reviewed those accessories. Well, today I'm going to talk about some of the things that I've added to the bike since that time. Now, there's a couple of things I actually had added early on that I forgot to talk about, so I'm going to talk about those today, too. I'm going to make sure to include those. One of the things I forgot to talk about in my original video, and it was a really important one, and that is the Wingsoft seat upgrade. I took my motorcycle down to Bryan College Station, Texas, uh, to have John Conley rebuild the seat uh, using his special foam and his special magic or whatever he did. Now, before I had the seat rebuilt, I was lucky if I could ride the bike for more than an hour without having to get off and stretch my legs. It was just really super uncomfortable. The stock factory seat on this 2018 Goldwing is really not uh, very comfortable. Now, I also am testing out right now, as you may see behind me, I've got an aftermarket seat that I'm testing. I can't talk about it today because I'm not done yet. I don't want to tell you anything about it until I've had a, a chance to really put it through the paces. But I did use that Wingsoft seat upgrade for quite some time, uh, a little over a year. I've done several road trips with it, and it made a huge difference. I can now go at least a couple of hours. It's about doubled my seat time on the motorcycle as far as being comfortable where I don't have to stop. So uh, good job to Wingsoft. I highly recommend uh, you can ship them your seat. They usually rebuild it and have it back to you in just a few days. Now's a good time to do it right before the riding season. Uh, so anyway, check out Wingsoft. And of course, like everything I talk about in this video, I will put links in the description of this video so you know how to reach out to these people and get these products. I also, early on, added a Utopia backrest to my seat, and I've had Utopia backrests on my previous two Gold Wings, and I just love them. They're very comfortable. They're very large. Uh, I love the fact that they have the little pouch in the back where you, I use it to put microfiber cloths or Kleenex and stuff like that. Even my kickstand coaster I'll keep in that little pouch. But uh, and also the, the 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 backrest will flip forward. You can to make it easier for you to get on the bike or for your passenger uh, to get on or off the bike. It's just really well designed, really well made. And on the 2018 to 2020 Goldwing, it's a very easy installation, much easier than it was on the previous Goldwing. So good job to Utopia, as always. They just make great products. So the Utopia backrest is a big thumbs up for me. You know how much I love Pathfinder LED lights. I have them several places on the bike, and I reviewed those in my first video. Well, not too long ago, they sent me a set of these caliper, LED caliper covers uh, for the 2018 Goldwing, and I had my bike all torn apart, and it was going to be apart for quite some time. So I reached out to Don Smith. He's a friend of mine, a local uh, Goldwing rider, to see if he wanted to put them on his bike to give him a try. So I'm going to let Don Smith talk to you about his experience with these Pathfinder caliper covers. I like lights. I like lights all over Big Red. My 2018 Goldwing Tour DCT. 
My latest addition is the Pathfinder lights. Those are the lights you see on the fork of the front wheel. Lights up and down the fork with an addition of a downward facing light at the bottom of the fork that lights up the area around uh, the fork and the caliper lights. These caliper lights are easy to install, easy to wire. You can do the job quickly. Uh, I got them from Pathfinder and uh, they really add a lot to the look of the bike. And as you can see, I've got lights all over the bike. They uh, just add something to the overall look. So it looks great. The, the cost is reasonable, easy to install, easy to wire, and uh, I truly enjoy them. Thank you for listening. I'm Don Smith at TexasTulane.com. Thanks, Don. Appreciate the update. I've also added several things to the bike from Traction Dynamics. Now, Traction is best known for their suspension components. Uh, they have, uh, they can completely replace your Goldwing suspension components to give you a much better ride, much uh, better handling, just much better performance. It's really, really high-end stuff. I had the Traction Dynamics package on my 2007 Goldwing. So you might want to check it out for that, but they also have some other little products that they sell that are really cool, and I've added them to my Goldwing, and I want to tell you a little bit about it. The first one is pretty simple. It's the kickstand pad. Now, this is a larger a billet aluminum uh, kickstand pad that you add to the foot of your kickstand. And you might think, well, why would I want to do that? Well, if you've ever parked your motorcycle on hot asphalt in the summer, you may come out from a restaurant and find your motorcycle on the side because the kickstand can actually sink into that hot asphalt. Or let's say you're parking your motorcycle somewhere where you have gravel and your kickstand, the foot of the kickstand, will want to sink down in that gravel. Well, this kickstand pad from Traction Dynamics will, you won't have to worry about that anymore. You don't have to carry a motorcycle, a kickstand coaster with you anymore because it kind of is like a permanent coaster added to your kickstand. So it's really cool and it looks nice. They're very, very high quality, very well made. So um, it's something I've just kept on the bike because I like it. The next thing is the uh, glove box lock and latch mechanism. This gives you the ability to replace your factory OEM button on your glove box and it also adds a lock so that if you have your cell phone in your glove box you can actually lock this so that nobody can get in there and steal your stuff. And I don't want to forget one of my favorite products, which is the dipstick extender from Traction made from billet aluminum. It basically just glues to the top of your factory dipstick, and they include everything in the kit. It's really simple to install, and you end up with this great looking and much easier to use dipstick. Okay, now we're getting down to some lighting products. Uh, not too long ago, I added the Path Blazer headlight modulator to this 2018 Goldwing. Now, I've had the Path Blazer on my last two Goldwings, and I considered a really necessary safety item. Now, I don't use the Path Blazer because it does cause the front, you know, the headlights to flash. Um, I don't use it all the time. I don't leave it turned on because I know it can be annoying to some drivers. And not that I'm, I mind annoying them, but when you pull up behind people on the road, sometimes they see those lights flashing in the rearview mirror and they think you're a police officer, especially on a white motorcycle, and they'll pull over. So I don't want to do that. I've had that happen in the past, so I learned a lesson. The way I use the Path Blazers is kind of sparingly. If I see an intersection coming up where there's people uh, about to maybe turn left in front of me or they are in a left-hand turn lane coming toward me, I will hit the Path Blazer modulators and I have actually seen people creeping out like they're going to make a left turn and I don't know if they're going to stop. I don't know if they're going to go on and you know they're not going to have to T-bone them 
But I've turned on those uh, modulators and I've seen people just stop in their tracks. They see those lights and they stop. So I want to make sure I'm seeing, I will hit those path blazers. And sure enough, I've seen people stop in their tracks. So works for me. I love them. Check out the path blazers from Keyson Technologies. I've been using Keyson products for years. And that brings me to one of my favorite products. That's the Keyson tail blazers. Now the tail blazers are your brake light modulators. And what these do is when you hit the brakes, these begin flashing and they, they kind of decelerate. They kind of slow, slow down to where uh, your brake lights eventually just stay on. But they really get people's attention that are coming up from behind. So again, I have seen, I've looked at, because I'm always looking in my rearview mirror when I come to a stop, and I'm always wondering, is the guy coming up behind me going to stop? So I hit those tail blazers, and I'm telling you, people stay back. They actually, I've seen cars, it's like now they stay another 10 feet back when they see those lights. It's just a great product. I think it's one of the best safety products you can add to your motorcycle, and that's the tail blazer brake light modulators from Keyson. Those function on your brake lights uh, on your saddlebags. If you want to modulate your Honda brake light that goes under your luggage rack or your trunk rack, that's a separate product. I'll put a link to it in the description of the video too. Very easy to install, plug and play. And I have a modulator on my brake light already, so I didn't need it because I have the Pathfinder brake light. But if you have the Honda brake light and you want it to flash when you come to a stop, you're going to need the Tailblazer specifically for that Honda trunk rack brake light. And I'll put a link to the description down below. It's very nice, very easy to install. All you have to do is take the seat off, plugs right there, you just plug it in and go. The last product I'm going to review today is the Muth signal mirrors. Now, again, I've had Muth signal mirrors on my last two Gold Wings. Absolutely love them. And they've come out with them now for the 2018 to 2020 or 2018 plus, because if you watch this in 2021, they should fit that Gold Wing too. But these mirrors are super high quality. What I love about them is you can get them in a blue glass or the standard chrome glass. But the blue glass is the one I like because it cuts down on some of that glare, especially at night, cars coming up behind you, the, the, their headlights don't glare as bad in the rear view mirror. But yet you can still see. They still don't hinder the visibility. I love these Muth mirrors. And they have the built-in sequential LED turn signals. Very cool. And, you know, it helps people see you when you're changing lanes, traffic behind you. It just is a great addition to your motorcycle. They're beautiful. They're high, super high quality. Muth makes uh, signal mirrors for all kinds of cars and trucks. I first learned about them back in, I don't know, 2002 or 2003. My brother put them on his Corvette. He has a 2001 C5. And he was a huge fan of the Muth mirrors. This is back before they had the sequential LEDs. Well, now they've got these sequential LEDs and they're built into the back of the mirror. So it's just, they're very super integrated and just, like I say, you just can't beat the quality. They're just great product. They come in red or amber. I have the red. I thought I had the amber. Turns out the red actually has a little bit of an orange tint to it. So, But they do come in amber or red, and you can pick when you order which ones you want. So I've got a video showing you how to install these on your 2018 Plus Goldwing, so I can highly recommend them. So what are the five accessories that I've added to this Goldwing that I simply couldn't live without? These are what I would consider to be the first five things you should buy for your Goldwing, in my opinion. or the It's the first five things I would buy if I got a brand new Goldwing. The first thing is the Show Chrome Isolator Fuse Block. And the reason I think this is so important, even though it, you don't really see it, you don't really even know it's there, it just goes under your seat, but it makes it so much easier to add accessories to this CAN bus 
electrical system. You, know, you cannot patch into wires like we used to do on the old gold wings. You can't just simply splice here and there if you want to add some lights. You have to deal with this computerized CAN bus electrical system and the show chrome isolator fuse block allows you to do that very, very easily, very elegantly. Is it perfect? No. There's some things I'd like to see changed about it, but I think it's the best one I've tried and I've tested and seen so far. So that is a great addition. It's not something I would have a Goldwing without. The second thing actually comes from Honda. And it's the reason I say it's one of my top fives because I use it every day. And that's the Homelink uh, garage door opener. Yeah, I know you can take a, you know, just a little garage door opener, add it to your keychain, or put it in your glove box or whatever. But I just love this elegant integrated garage door opener built right into that center console, uh, the center panel switch. I just think it looks cool. It works extremely well. It's bulletproof. It, I control both my garage doors with it. I just don't think I'd have a Goldwing without this home link now that I've had it. Now, even though I love the way it works, it is a pain in the ass to install, and it shouldn't be that hard to install. In fact, Honda should have included the buttons on the center panel switch from the factory. If they had included the buttons and the electronics already in there, it'd be very easy to install the home wheel. Not very easy, but it'd be a much easier task to install it in your right saddlebag, because it, it does mount in the right saddlebag. So nevertheless, uh, it's a great item. I love the functionality of it. Don't like the way it installs, but I use it all the time. Number three is one I just talked about, and that's the Tailblazer from Keyson Technologies. I will not have a Goldwing or any motorcycle for that matter. In fact, I had a Tailblazer on my Kawasaki Versus when I had one. I will not, and they make them for all different kinds of motorcycles. Any brand you can think of, they make a tailblazer for. I will not ride a motorcycle without a tail light modulator. I just, I'm just that big of a believer in them. So uh, that's my number three. And these are not in any particular order. Uh, I think they're all equally uh, valuable and important to me as far as accessories. But the tailblazer from Keyson is one of my top five. Another one is the Pathfinder multi-function tail light brake light turn signals that I have underneath the trunk rack. I love this light. I think it's very cool. Um, I think it's a big safety item. It's much more robust than the one that comes from Honda, the Honda brake light that goes under the trunk rack. It, it, this has the sequential turn signals. It's got a brake light modulator built in. It's got the running light. It's just got a lot of features. I really like it. It looks factory. It looks OEM. And uh, just super cool product from my friends over at Pathfinder LED. Okay, what's my number five accessory? The fifth one in my top five, and that is the Wingsoft seat. Uh, it added so much additional comfort to this motorcycle that I just don't know if I would have been able to take my road trip to Nashville and Knoxville without the Wingsoft seat upgrade. It's that important to me. You get the idea. I've given you my top five. That's all you're going to get from me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the little subscribe button down below. Click the bell icon so YouTube will tell you when I come out with a new video. Uh, if you want to see more accessory review, reviews, check out my first video where I go through a ton of accessories, a lot of Honda stuff that I added to the bike. So thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Reviews, and I will see you the next time. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.